All right, I'm back. Oh. See, um, I had to find a different part because this one's not a, um, let me get my knife out. Oh, it's right there. See, this is what I love about old stuff. Do you see a utility knife as convenient as that? And you have to like, like it, like you can't even, you can't even push it to let go. Look, look, you have to press it in. You have to press it down in. It's a clutch, see? It's a clutch. See how it's a clutch? So beautiful design. Never had I had, and look, you could cut rope. Beautiful. Why can't they make these anymore? Stanley, make these again, please. So this will do a great job. I usually normally use this for carpentry to um, get rust off nickel. And uh, usually I just paint it white. Now this is only one speed. I forgot to get my ear stuff. We'll give this an acetone bath afterwards. Remove any more, any particulates. You don't want to go around the edges because you'll clip the wires. And it will ruin the brush. You want to avoid that as much as possible.
this is why, this is why you wear gloves, guys. This is like, look at this. I would have been really hurt with that. Luckily, the glove took that all out. Um, because um, as you can see, we're losing the integrity of this. So that was starting to cut into it. Um, I should change gloves because this is a little irritated now. But um, I'm a man, I'm gonna keep going. Just gonna hold it differently. As you can see, there's no more turd left on the blade or the whatever, so. But um, this is in a much better condition for paint. Um, I might not even do the acetone bath because I don't feel like going through all the extra trouble. Let me see how much grit still has on it. I might just do um, an apple uh, uh, vinegar bath. But if I can get most of this off, I don't really care to go into the grits of it because this metal's already pitted and that's not gonna help anything really. Nothing's gonna really help this. So if it's gonna have to rust again in a little bit, it'll have to rust a little bit. I'm gonna get another white piece of paper over here somewhere and see how much actually comes off. I mean, this thing's kind of like really dirty with that. Oh man, it really needs, it really needs the apple cider vinegar bath. It really needs that bath. But it's like, I'm, I'm not, and I'm not gonna sell this thing. I don't really care. Like, why go through the trouble? Well, I'm not gonna use carb um, gasoline. I'm gonna use carb cleanup for the rest of them. It's not bad. That's pretty clean. Yeah, I could paint this. Look at that. That's not that bad. I got most of most of it all. Huh? Let's see. Let's see this little bit of clean. Let's see a little bit of this clean the earth. Get all my hands, all of my tools again. All right, that's not that bad. Some dirt. Gotta get some cardboard. I'm gonna go get some cardboard.
I forgot why I bought this, but I bought this like 10 years ago. Oh yes, I remember what I got this for. This is for the barbecue grill that we had, but it was a, um, there's like this white spot right there. I can't, I don't know, can you see that white spot right there? It's like a little white spot. Right there, white spot, I don't know why it's white spot. Wow, that just uncovered more surface. Look, look how much rust is on it. I just scratched it a little bit. Look, all that rust came back out. Oh my God. So honestly, it the vinegar bath would have taken too long. You would need like five days in here and then still you would need some. But uh, the best way right now would have been to just grind it with a soft wheel and just remove all that rust, but I'm not doing that. This is supposed to be a quick project. This needs to be completely wiped down. Probably spraying this right where you painted. Oh, maybe not the best idea. Oh my gosh, if this is how hard I'm having a hard time cleaning, I don't know what I'm going to deal with when I get to the actual chainsaw. That thing's caked. This is the non-flammable one. And it's the flammable one.
This is so boring, guys. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> this is going to be fun. I see everyone doing YouTube videos. They're like, oh. I don't even have anything going on for me right now. Like, I'm spraying the paper towel now with carb cleaner because I'm trying to make it spread out evenly. I'm like, I'm losing hope. I'm losing hope in myself. Ugh. Fuck it. No, just enough for that. I get it. I get it. Uh, so, um, this is the this is how it looks like. I might do another layer, a layer of paint. Uh, not paint. I'm gonna get it all over my camera. You watch. See, this box helps because you can really get it in there, and it helps to. What, baby girl? You want to go inside now? Yeah, she's hot. I think she's hot. It's like, get up the stairs. I didn't have uh, lunch. I had breakfast, so we could, but I have a lot of work here. So maybe we can go out. What do you want to order Chinese? I want AJ's. I'll get regular Chinese. What do you want? Regular Chinese. It's like five more dollars. I might get a vegan. Why don't we get a 50? I don't want anything because I have my mom's curry. Okay, fine. You get your all oh, right, I will get my AJ's, but they don't deliver. Oh, but I don't have time to drive around. I'm busy doing shit. I'm gonna drink it. I might gonna have to eat mom's chicken curry too. Maybe we'll go out for dinner in a movie. I have a lot of energy. Oh my gosh. All right, all right. Where's my things? I'm missing my things now. 
All right, so while that's drying, we're gonna start with our project over here with the b -b -b, with the b -b. It's not the gas cap. Oh my God, this is not missing the gas cap, is it? I said don't touch anything here. And of course, the most important thing to go missing on this whole project is the gas cap. Um, on the gas cap. I must have misplaced it. Okay, we're in good shape. We're in good shape. We are in the A-OK -okay shape. We just gotta clean this puppy up. Ugh. So, what I need right now is a container that will hold gasoline as I go around, okay, let's get some of this electrical stuff out of here. It's uh, gasoline and electrics. Don't oh, kind of mix. They can, but they don't, and they shouldn't. <sighs> so is this a good angle? I don't even know. All right, so what do we want? What do we want? What do we want? We need to get the big crud off. So with the big crud off, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a shimmy. This. A little thicker than I want, but it'll work. So what you do is you take this. First, see that hole? You don't want to get anything in there. So to not get anything in there, you have to put something in there. Okay, so now we're safe. Just make sure you get all of it out. Okay. I don't even want to mess with the gas cap. All right, so I'm going to start with this light, light scrape. Light scrape. You got a little clip here. It's a strong little clip. Wow. It's got like teeth in that. All right, so this, then, this is why you want the brush. It helps if the brush doesn't leave crud. Don't read that in. <laughs> All right, one of the many parts cleaned. All right, then we have 